thought I'd make a little video here talking about the belt that's on the Supra 950. People who try to change this belt know it's a real bitch to put on. All right, we got. You have to take loose these two belts here. Totally remove them off of the uh, compressor. Then you got to, you got to feed this or work it over those two, these other, uh, and then it'll be at an angle to the drive. But it will be so tight it won't want to come off. I had to, I had to change it one time by I just simply cut the old one off. And then I use dish soap on the new one and forced it onto the, uh, I believe I forced it on that. I can't remember. But this time, I undid the clutch. This is the second time I changed this belt. There's, uh, can't see it from here, can you? All right, there's one bolt right there, but there's like six of them. There's another one right there. So you got to get in there with a, with a, I believe it's a half inch wrench, and undo all six of those, and take five of them out and leave one in there, just loose. That will allow you to move the clutch, you'll swing it, and that will give you uh, a lot more space to get that belt off. But anyway, the belt wears out prematurely because of the OEM original pulley, idler pulley, which is, this is not it, this is my, my modification to solve that problem. The original one pulls the, uh, it pulls the belt upward. Now when you pull the belt upward, it's not going to grab as much of the of the drive pulley. Right now it's grabbing probably um, three quarters of the drive pulley and more than three quarters of the uh, compressor pulley. But when you pull that belt up, it'll grab less than three quarters. No, it'd be grabbing less than a half. No, that looks like three quarters. It'd be grabbing three quarters of that pulley and so forth. It'd be grabbing less than that. So that means there's going to be less um, surface pulling on that belt and when there's a load when you're trying to get the temperatures down this compressor pulls a lot of torque and that belt will start to slip unless you really got it tight so what I did is I went and got this this flat top idler pulley I just bought it on eBay it's for a Cummins uh, ISX no Cummins ISC or ISB engine I think it was the issue is the original um, spacer insert that goes for the other pulley will not fit on this one. It will not work. So I had to get some stock material. I had to put a hole through that piece and then I put it in my lathe. I have a small um, lathe you buy from Harbor Freight. And I worked it down to the, sizes I, to the size and dimensions I needed to make it fit. So here it is. It's not quite perfect. There is a little, as you can see here, this side of the belt slides just a hair. Nah, it's, it's near perfect. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, the only thing I need to do now is this piece right here. Underneath here, I need to put two nuts and tie them together and lock them tight and leave a little space so I can screw this to pull that up. I'm sorry, push it down, push it down. So it would try to push this bar up. Right now it's just sitting here because I can turn it to see it's not doing anything. How I locked it in place, I just simply pushed it down with my hand. And then I when I got tight enough, I just tightened it down and it, it pinches it here. So it holds it in place. But ideally, I need to get this uh, done with the two two nuts here and a washer. And I'll lock the nuts together real tight so they won't move. And then when I try to back this out, it'll push this down. Of course, you gotta, you gotta loosen that a little bit. And you should be able to, uh, that way you're able to tighten the belt up. Now make sure it's tight enough, because when I first started this up, it wasn't tight and the pulley was not spinning. The belt was just sliding underneath it. Because when it starts putting torque, when this thing starts drawing torque, and uh, the motor has to, I mean the engine here has to 
give torque, it starts stretching the belt. So the bottom, the bottom uh, underneath here, that bottom, you can see that, that one right down the bottom, it gets stretched. So it makes it slack at the top. So that will cause the uh, belt to slide. And I didn't want that because it could wear. So you make sure it's spinning. You push it down tight enough to where it spins under load. So let's see, it's it's pretty tight here. Uh, no, it's not too tight. It's just normal. It's normal tension. Normal what you expect for a belt. 